Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyamal Mahalanyam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam Mechanical Engineering Questions. This is lecture number 44. We take few questions in the topic flow through pipes in fluid mechanics. The first question from 2020 question paper. Two pipes of length 2500 meter each and diameter 80 centimeter and 60 centimeter respectively are connected in parallel. The coefficient of friction for each pipe is 0 0.006 and the total flow is 250 liters per second. The rate of flow in the pipes are nearly, there are four, four options given. There are two pipes, so we have to find the discharge in each pipe. So, pipe 1 and pipe 2, that is Q1 and Q2. Among the four options, the correct answer is 0.17 meter cube per second in the first pipe and 0.1 meter cube per second in the second pipe. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, for losses in the pipes are equal. So, equal length, the losses in the pipes are equal. So, loss in the head loss in the pipe 1 is equal to loss of head in the pipe 2. So, 4 F1 L1 V1 square by 2G D1 equal to 4 F2 L2 V2 square by 2G D2. So, it is given friction factor is constant for both the pipe F1 equal to F2. Simplifying the equation, this will be L1 V1 square by D1 equal to L2 V2 square by D2. Now, we have velocity V equal to discharge divided by area and the length are equal L1 equal to L2. Now, it becomes Q1 square by D1 to the power 5 equal to Q2 square divided by D2 to the power 5. So, V1 square equal to Q1 square divided by D1 to the power 4. Already we have D1, so D1 to the power 5. Similarly, Q2 square divided by D2 to the power 5. Rearranging the terms, so Q1 by Q2 equal to square root of D1 to the power 5 divided by D2 to the power 5. Substituting the numerical values, square root of 0.8 to the power 5 divided by 0 0.6 to the power 5 equal to 2.05. So, the ratio, discharge ratio Q1 by Q2 equal to 2.05. And the total discharge is the same. So, it is given Q equal to Q1 plus Q2. So, Q1, it is in terms of Q2. So, 2.05 Q2 plus Q2. So, 250, total discharge is 250 liters per second equal to 3.05 Q2. So, Q2 equal to 81.96 liters per second. So, it is equal to 0 0.082 meter cube per second or approximately equal to 0 0.1 meter cube per second. Q1, 2.05 times of 0 0.082. So, this equal to 0 0.168 meter cube per second or approximately equal to 0 0.17 meter cube per second. So, Q1 equal to 0 0.17 and Q2 equal to 0 0.1 meter cube per second. These are all the answers. The next question from 2020 question paper, to maintain 0 0.08 meter cube per second flow of petrol with a specific gravity 0 0.7 through a steel pipe of 0 0.3 diameter and 800 meter length with the coefficient of friction 0 0.0025 in the Darcy relation. The power required will be nearly, we have four options here. So, the correct option is 1 kilowatt, the power required is 1 kilowatt. We will see how in the next slide. So, velocity V equal to 4 Q by pi T square. So, Q equal to area into velocity. So, substituting for area. So, velocity equal to Q by A which is pi by 4 D square. So, 4 Q by pi D square. Head loss due to friction HF equal to 4 FL V square by 2 GD. 4 FL by 2 GD. V square equal to 4 Q by pi D square whole power. So, this is 4 into 0 0.0025 into 800 divided by 2 into 9.81 into diameter 0 0.3 multiplied by 4 into 0 0.08 divided by pi into 0 0.3 whole square to the power 2 equal to 1.74. Head loss due to friction is equal to 1.74 meter. The power, power, power equal to rho GQ into HF. So, rho density of the petrol 700, 9.81, G is 9.81, discharge is 0 0.08 into HF equal to 1.74, which is 955.9 watts, is equal to 0 0.95 kilowatt, which is equal to 1 kilowatt. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2020 question paper, the diameter of a nozzle 
D for maximum transmission of power through it is. We have four options here. Uh, here D is the diameter of the pipe, F is the friction coefficient, L is the length of the pipe. The correct answer is D power 5 divided by 8 FL to the power 1 by 4. That is the correct answer. Now, we will see how in the next slide. For maximum power transmission, loss of head D equal to HF equal to H by 3. H is the total head, head available for the nozzle divided by 3. Head available at the nozzle equal to 2 H by 3, which is equal to 2 HF. So, H by 3 into 2 equal to 2 into HF multiplying by 2. So, head available equal to velocity, velocity head. So, 2 HF equal to Vj divided by 2G. 2 HF equal to Vj by 2G. So, HF equal to 2 into 4 FL V square by 2GD equal to Vj square by 2G. So, 2 into 4 FL 2GD and substituting for velocity. Velocity equal to Q by pi by 4 D square. So, this equal to 1 by 2G Vj. Velocity of the jet equal to Q by pi by 4 small d square. So, capital D is the diameter of the pipe, small d is the diameter of the nozzle. Simplifying, so this 2g is getting cancelled. So, 8 fl divided by diameter d to the power 5 equal to 1 by d to the power 4. So, here q square is cancelled, pi by 4 square is cancelled. So, we will get in the left hand side 1 by d to the power 4 and here 1 by small d to the power 4. So, 8 fl divided by d to the power 5 equal to 1 by d to the power 4. So, small d diameter of the nozzle equal to d to the power 5 divided by 8 fl to the power 1 by 4. So, we have a pipeline at the end of the pipeline we have a nozzle. We have to find the diameter of the nozzle for the same discharge. So, this is the answer. Next question from 2021 question paper. Water is flowing through a horizontal pipe of diameter 200 millimeter at a velocity of 3 meters per second. A circular solid plate of diameter 20, 150 millimeter is placed in the pipe to obstruct the flow. What is the loss of heat due to the obstruction in the pipe? If CC coefficient of contraction is 0 0.62, take G acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. So, we have four options here. We calculate head loss due to the obstruction. So, head loss due to the obstruction equal to V square by 2G into A divided by area of the pipe divided by cc coefficient of contraction into area of the pipe capital A minus small a area of the obstruction minus 1 whole square. So, velocity is given as 3 meters per second 3 by 2 into 9.81 area of the uh, pipe we calculate. So, it is given as 200 millimeter area of the pipe equal to 0 0.0314 meter square cc equal to 0 0.62 again area of the pipe 0 0.0314 minus area of the obstruction. Diameter is given as 150 millimeter. We calculate pi by 4 d square. Area of the obstruction is 0 0.01766 meter square minus 1 whole square. Calculating the answer is 3.3 .3 meter. So, the answer option A 3.211 meter is the correct answer. Next question from 2021 question paper. Three pipes of length 800 meter, 500 meter and 400 meter and of diameter 500 millimeter, 400 millimeter and 300 millimeter respectively are connected in series. These pipes are to be replaced by a single pipe of length 1700 meter. What is the diameter of the single pipe? So, there are three pipes or three different diameters. Everything is to be replaced by a single pipe of length 1700 meter what is the diameter? So, we have four options here again. The correct answer is 0 0.007118 to the power 0 0.2 meter. That is the diameter of the single pipe. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, for, for the given configuration, parallel pipe, uh, compound pipe arrangement, equivalent diameter, L, L, equivalent diameter is to be calculated. So, L by due to the power 5 equal to L1 divided by d to the d1 to the power 5 plus l2 by d2 to the power 5 plus l3 by d3 to the power 5. So, l equal to 1700. So, l1 is 800 divided by d1 to the power 5 equal to 0 0.5 to the power 5. 500 divided by 0 0.4 to the power 5 plus 400 divided by 0 0.3 to the power 5. So, simplifying right hand side 0 0.007118. So, d equal to so, this is 0 0.007118 to the power 0 0.2. So, 1 by 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.2. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2016 question paper. 
the condition for power transmission by the flow through a pipeline to be maximum is that the loss of head in the flow due to the friction throughout the pipeline pipeline length is one third of the total head so for the maximum power transmission the head loss should be h of equal to h by 3 so capital h is the head head the total head available h by 3 so one third of the head available should be equal to head loss due to the friction the next question from 2019 question paper in case of transmission of hydraulic power by a pipeline to a turbine in the hydroelectric power station the maximum power transmission efficiency through the pipeline we have four options here we calculate maximum efficiency equal to h minus h of divided by h h is the head available minus h of is the head loss due to friction divided by h is the head available so the head loss due to friction equal to h by 3 for maximum power transmission so h equal to h by 3 by h so equal to 2 by 3 so which is 66.7 percentage so here the option is 67 percentage option b is the correct answer we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical engineering subject you may refer to the book fluid mechanics and machinery for theory part of the flow through pipes and i upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the youtube channel you subscribe the channel use the videos for better learning thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box if you have any queries you can contact me we'll meet again with another video lecture in the solution for upsc engineering series exam questions in fluid mechanics until then bye